The Texas Discovery Gardens have been around since 1936 and have since grown to include over five gardens filled with flowers, bees, and other insects. I'm the education manager here at the gardens. There's lots of things to do for the students. Um, they can come to an educational program, um, which means lots of different things, depending on what the teacher is focused on, so that they can come here and understand something more fully or a, a concept they're not quite getting. But they, also, they can also take away that nature can exist everywhere. Um, we're a public garden in the middle of Dallas. EarthKeep is, is our name for all of our programs combined that school children can participate in. Kind of run the gamut of our mission. So some programs are only about gardening, some are about butterflies, some are about taking care of the earth and composting and worms and fun stuff like that. Education program is a way to let students and adults learn about nature through outdoor experiences. They are able to learn in the classroom about the natural water cycles and plant seeds for their own garden. One of the favorite places the children like to go is the butterfly house. The kids get to see butterflies in their natural environment and their life cycle. We have over 60 different species of butterflies that we gather and release into the butterfly sanctuary. I'm the entomologist and insect specialist here at Texas Discovery Gardens, and I'm responsible for the conservatory with the live butterflies. Every day at noon, we release the new adult butterflies that come out of the chrysalises in the emergence chamber. And so every day at noon, we release the new ones, and we talk about butterflies, biology and behavior and so forth when we're doing the releases. They like the Grand Ole the best because it gives a, a oh my goodness, um, it gives them a great place to run for recess, but I kind of like the Shakespeare Garden for them the best. It's got lots of plants in it that they can discover. Rosemary that smells like chicken or vapor rub, lemon balm, Thai basil, creeping thyme, and they can feel the lamb's ear. We have lots of insects in our insectarium. Um, it kind of depends on who's on display and what season it is. But right now we have two tarantulas with their skins that they molted, which is really neat. We have a small forest scorpion, our fire belly toad, tracer. We have snakes. We have our Madagascar hissing cockroaches, which are really fun to hold. I think that's everybody. For more information, call 214-428-7476 or go to texasdiscoverygardens.org.